Hello everyone, welcome back to Grimm's Garage, and today we are looking at some Ghostbusters theater merchandise from my local theater, Dipson Theaters. Apparently it's a Western New York owned theater line. They are buying out small local theaters that are going out of business, including one of the last surviving drive-in theaters in my area. But I did not get that at that location. I got this at my formerly Regal location, now called a Dipson Theater. I think it's the Dipson Empire. Here's my movie to tell you. What is this called? Capital, not Empire. Dipson Capital Theater. They're Dipson Theaters. This specific location is called Capital. They, as far as I know, only own six locations within the Western New York area. As you've seen in previous video, I'm sure uh, my Regal Ghostbuster video got almost 10,000 views at this moment. So I'm ecstatic. Thank you all so much. But here to look at this stuff. Uh, so after getting my big promo stuff from my major local theaters, I saw... Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, at my local Dipson Theater. Here's my ticket. And although it's a small-owned company, family-owned, I, I believe, very local-owned company. So they don't have much to offer in merchandise like Regal and AMC, but they did have something. And it's something different that we have not seen yet so I would like to at least share that with you and at the end of this video I will show or share some thoughts and opinions on the new film but I will wait till the end and I will tell you when that is so I do not ruin any spoilers here is the Dipson Theater movie popcorn bucket And Church Churchill Containers, Churchill Containers, which seems to be the same company that made the cups for AMC and Regal. Not the toppers, any other accessories, just the cups. So there is some connection here. This is the popcorn bucket they offered at my local Dipson Theater. And as you can see, I'm assuming they didn't get any loyalties, royalties, or rights to any imaging other than the promoted upcoming poster. So that's why all four sides of the popcorn bucket is literally just the Frozen Empire Ghostbusters theatrical poster with the coming soon on it, although I was there to see it at that time. A bit flimsy, but what expect this popcorn bucket? At least I'm happy to have more Ghostbuster stuff. And with that, I also got the matching cup. Comes with your beverage of choice. I chose a slushy, but come with whatever you choose. Same artwork. There is a uh, QR code on the cup and bucket. Honestly, I don't know what it goes to. Will it work for you on the camera? Go ahead and figure that out. What is that other QR code? Is that any different? You check that out. What does that do? All right. And since I was there checking out this film, and it's a small local theater that doesn't honestly get a lot of business since people honestly thought they were out of business. They got a lot of merchandise from past movies. And I was ecstatic to also purchase a TMNT Mutant Mayhem cup. Same quality. Um, just left over from previous film. And I'm a TMNT fan, so that was pretty cool to be able to buy some more movie merch at this little theater as I said because they're a small business they've got multiple cups and 
popcorn buckets for previous films that have not sold. Because to be honest with you, a lot of people are not sporting these small local theaters. So they got a lot of extra merch laying around. So I did grab that. I was happy to have that. Got those guys. And for a little comparison, this was from the previous uh, video for Regal. Yeah, Regal's got the nice toppers, blah, blah, blah. But that's a Regal. I just wanted to show you that their cups are exactly the same cups as everybody else's. It's the same company. It's a Churchill container. So, Regal, AMC, even small town third party theaters. They're all getting the same cups at least. They just might have a special topper. But, hey, Ghostbusters all the way. Thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe. I hope you join me again soon. I just wanted to show you some extra Ghostbusters stuff I got from my uh, specifically local theater. Just spread the love. Hope you join me again soon. You are all so much appreciated. Thank you so much. Alright, now I did save it as kind of like an after credit shot. My thoughts, opinions on the new film. Um, it's n probably not what everybody's going to expect. Um, is it good? Yes. It's amazing. There's a lot to be held. Um, honestly, I'd say 70% of the preview footage we saw in the previews is non-existent in the film. So, there's a lot more than you know if you're only going by the trailers. The trailers are total, total, um, kind of a bait and switch, a bit, but Gil Keenan, the director, has expressed that, um, those scenes were integral, um, they're beloved, he agrees that we all want to see them, so he's already stated that they will be in the extras when it becomes a physical release. There will be, for their extended scenes, at least, um, Kumal Nanjiani. I know a lot of people did not want to see him in this film. I personally am a fan of his as a stand-up comedian. And to hear he was joining one of my favorite franchises, I personally was delighted. I know a lot of people were not, and I understand that. But after seeing the new movie, I have to say, I think he stole the show. Um, comedically, he's had the best lines. And if you bring it back to the original movies, this was supposed to be a comedy movie. Now, Afterlife did bring back tried to bring back the soul of the franchise and bring us back emotionally. But really, this was supposed to be a comedy slash fictorial action movie. Comedy at its heart. So they brought in some comedy people. And I love Kumal Nanjiani in this film. Really do. I really do. Honestly... I could say I could do without the supernatural powers towards the end of the film. Maybe I don't agree with that within the Ghostbusters franchise. Uh, but I do like the idea of having ancient Ghostbusters and some ancient Ghostbuster containment device that they come upon. Yeah, there'll be ancient variations of people trying to do things. That was cool. The fact that he still has magical powers to this day and is working with them, I, I don't know. That was a bit of a stretch, to be honest with you. But since it's already happened and it's canon now, um, what will he look like in the future if we continue this? If they make Kumal... 
a real Ghostbuster, which I was hoping they did before I even saw the movie, knowing he was in the previews. I'm like, oh, I hope he was like, oh, you all, you started this by giving us this crap. <clears throat> Suit up. We need your help. Well, turns out he does, but he suits up in his grandma's armor. So, I'm hoping in the future, even if it's in the animated, they're working on an animated series and an animated film to, to come after this film. So, if they incorporate Kumal Nanjiani's character in the new stuff, I really, really want get rid of his grandma's armor. I understand the importance of the brass to the situation and his to amplitude his powers. So give him a normal ish modern Ghostbuster suit, but brass fortified to help with his specific powers. I want to see where this goes now. I was mad at first that there's magic introduced, but now I want to see how you can make a magical guy incorporate with the rest of the dozens of Ghostbusters that we're trying to accumulate to. Ghostbusters is going places. I'm excited. And I hope you'll join me again soon. Sorry for the extra intro. Hope you stayed for it. And if you did, you're fucking awesome.